Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, I'm going to introduce you with Doric CMS features. You are going to learn how you can create a CMS website on Doric, how you can create blog posts on your website, how you can design post template, which is going to take effect on all of the blog posts of your website. And you are going to learn about many other options available on Doric step by step throughout this video. So without further ado, here I am signed in with my Doric account. I clicked on this Doric CMS button so that now we'll be able to create a CMS website. You can use either this button or you can use this button to start creating a CMS site. So let me click on this button. After that, you are going to see some beautiful website templates. You can choose any one of these depending on your project need and start customizing with your information. So I'd love to go with this template. So let's click on select. Then you have to provide the CMS project title. I'd love to give a random name here. Then you have to choose a domain name and the website will load under a subdomain. So let me give a random domain name here and obviously you'll be able to change this domain with a custom premium domain from your website dashboard letter. So let me click on this create button. It is going to start creating the website and we'll see the website dashboard will load under our subdomain and Doric provides a dedicated dashboard for every CMS website. So here we go. We are on the website dashboard and it loaded under this domain. And here we have got some basic information about the builder and the CMS. Here you'll find some key features mentioned on this section of this page. After that, you're going to find this upgrade now option. If you need, you can upgrade your membership from this option. Then you have got this content section. The very first option you have got is post. From this posts option, you'll be able to create a new blog post. You'll be able to modify an existing blog post and so on. From categories, you'll be able to create categories and then add these categories on your blog posts later. Then you have got this tags option. Again, you can create tags from this option and use these tags on your blog post later. So let's move with blog posts. I'm going to click on this option. We're going to see some demo contents or demo blog posts appeared here. Now, if you want to make change on any blog post, simply you have to click on the blog post and it is going to take you to the editor of the blog post. Now, if you want, you can update the blog post title. For instance, I'm going to make a little change here. So here we go. I just made a change here on this title. Same you can do for the post description. You can add any element here or information or you can remove any part of your blog post and you can link text of your blog post content depending on your need you can create list items you can create blog quote add image and other elements on your blog post and then you have got this gear icon post setting option from where you're going to find your post title post slug or the url which you can customize you have got this accept option and post access depending on the post type you can specify if it is members only paid members only post and you have got a dedicated video about membership contents and you're going to find the video link into the description field below after that you're able to find these options thumbnail image banner image option then you'll be able to find this option categories and tags from where you can add categories and text on your blog post then you have got seo settings from where you can provide title description keywords for seo purpose of the blog post that you are going to write after that you have got twitter card for twitter sharing and you can provide title description and image and the card type here then you have got open graph for facebook and other social media sharing option so after that you have got this update post option and then publish button to publish the blog post so let's cross this out let me show you how you can create a new blog post the process is simple if i take you here on this post page simply you have to click on this new post button after that you are going to find this post title option you have to provide your post title and then provide post description content of your post here then you're going to find all the post settings option here on the right side so that's it for the posts now let's talk about categories if i click here on categories you'll find this option if you want you can delete any categories from here you can create a new category you have to give the category name is going to take an automatic link here which you can customize as well same for tags you can create new tags by clicking here give it a name and then it is going to take the slug name here 
all right so now let's talk about this design and page feature so if i click here it is going to take us to the doric website builder from where we'll be able to make changes on our website we can edit the elements and let's say if you want to make change here on this element simply you have to hover over edit element and then you are going to find this control panel from where we'll be able to modify the content for instance let's add some information you can remove the information and stylize the content from this content control panel and you have got a dedicated video about how to use the website builder you are going to find the video link into the description field below so let's talk about this page setting if i click here you're going to find the options page title and description you can provide a specific page title for this specific page page description you can specify the page language from here if you have got any pop-up you can set it up from here then you have got the page meta option from where you can provide meta information of the page you can provide social media title description social media image here from this section from advanced tab you are going to be able to provide custom header code to this page custom footer code to this page now let's cross this out let's talk about the site settings which is going to take effect on the complete website so if i click here you're going to find this general tab from where you'll be able to select or specify the site language you'll be able to specify site language direction and you can choose and upload fab icon and social media image to your website from fab icon it is going to take effect here on this place as it did here for doric and for gmail here so here are the options from integrations tab you are going to be able to integrate analytics softwares such as google analytics google tag manager and more from chat and marketing you are going to be able to integrate crisp intercom and other features and from payment configuration you'll be able to configure payment tools here from advanced tab you'll be able to add custom header code custom footer code to this complete website let's talk about this global styles from global styles you'll be able to specify the settings for the complete website at once as you can see here from background style you'll be choose uh, color gradient color image for the complete website and from body typography paragraph typography option you'll be able to specify the contents typography as you can see font family you can choose font weight and other options for the complete website from heading typography for each heading will be able to set the parameters or the details here and then you have got other options like container and column white height option link styles options from global colors you'll be able to choose the colors that you're going to use on your website from fonts you'll be able to choose google fonts select google fonts and add custom fonts on your website we have got a dedicated video about using google fonts custom fonts you're going to find that video link into the description field below now let's talk about page in this section you are going to find all the page that you created or you got along with the template that you choose and if you need you can start customizing the page contents by simply clicking and selecting and if you want you can add a new page by clicking here on this button and you can give the page name here you can add a slug and for any reason if you want to delete a page you can simply click on this delete button the page will be deleted and here we have got some interesting features template page will be able to specify or design a template for category page if i click here it is going to take us to that page and then we'll be able to design the category page by providing additional values attributes and by selecting and everything from post template you'll be able to design the blog post layout blog post looks how these blog posts should look like on your website for instance if you just take a look on this title it is selected with the center alignment if you want you can simply start customizing and you can give it or take it to let's say on left alignment as well and it is going to take effect on all of the blog post not only that you can add or delete information about let's say uh, this element like the author name last updated last created and if you need to add more fields here you can simply click on this add cms fields and you can choose the information whatever you want to populate here on the blog post and you can also customize the layouts customize the design of your blog post content as well by simply clicking here you can set how the contents should look like how the headings should look like on your web uh, on your blog post how the let's say 
paragraph will look like list item marker code underline image block quote will look like you can specify everything from these options then from styles you'll be able to provide margin padding values to specific elements and so on you have got many other options as you can see you can choose the font family from font weight for this post content as well which is going to take effect on all of the blog posts of your website and you have got many other options so after making all the necessary changes, simply you have to click on this publish and it will or the designs or the chains are going to take effect on your complete website so now let's talk about the other options available on the dashboard if i take you to the dashboard you are going to see after design and page we got this team members option if we need we can invite other to our website so that they'll be able to modify the site manage the site on behalf of us so you have to provide the person's email address their name and then assign a rule from this list then send an invitation. they'll be able to access the website and modify the site depending on the need after that we got this custom domain option from where you'll be able to connect a custom domain name with your website and it will look professional we got step-by-step -step tutorials on how to connect domain name from from several domain service providers you will find video links into the video description after that we got this settings option if you go here you are going to find from general tab you'll be able to generate a sitemap from redirects tab you'll be able to create redirecting urls and if you need for any reason to delete the site simply click on this delete site you will find the option to delete your website after that we got this membership section from this members option you are going to find details of the members of your website and then we got this membership settings option from where we'll be able to design and configure the membership panel membership post of your website and we got a dedicated video of membership stuffs you'll find the video link into the description field below and finally we got this collections section from where you'll be able to create custom collections and collections works like a database you can store information about any topic and then you can present the information from the collection on your website anywhere you need using cms row and we got a dedicated video about collections and you'll find the link into the video description so that was the walkthrough of doric cms i believe you will find this video helpful but if you got any further question please feel free to ask us by commenting below and visit us at doric.com for more information thank you so much for being with doric